This is an example of integrating Neo4j with PubNub. PubNub is a real-time data, data streaming library and Neo4j is a graph database. So the use case I'm using here is um, there's a train running between Delhi and Mumbai and I want to be whenever I go to a book a reservation uh, website and I want to see the av seats available in real time and so for that this is just a simple HTML page and uh, uh, here in the Neo4j database I have created these three nodes Delhi, Mumbai and Train and I have just uh, made a simple relationship that Delhi is the origin in this train and Mumbai is the destination uh, the only thing that I have added is in this train which has a name train1 and uh, available seats uh, are 40 so the and uh, the next thing I'm doing here is uh, this is a simple index HTML file uh, so looking into the code there's nothing special here only in this JavaScript section what I'm doing here is that uh, uh, when the document is ready uh, I'm calling this pubnub so the pubnub is coming from through the CDN and uh, CD, uh, so here I have entered the publish key and subscribe key and this is to, pubnub is subscribed to a channel called neo4j that I have created and what are the messages comes there uh, I'm taking from that message there's a seats left that I'll be just showing what it is and putting into that number uh, span uh, the span with ID number so we'll look into that uh, now the main part here is the index.js that I have created uh, it first of all it requires serif serif is a JavaScript driver to interact with Neo4j and here I have again uh, initialized the pubnub variable with the uh, so I have used the pubnub npm the same as publish key and subscribe key now what I'm doing here is that uh, here's the train that I'll be looking for so I just hard coded that and uh, whenever I'll run this node index.js in terminal uh, it will run this update node function what update node function does is that uh, it will decrease the number of available seats of that particular train node by one so the uh, step by step it's uh, it will f uh, first find that train particular train here uh, here's the one and uh, after that uh, the train available seats um, the train has a key available seats it will be decreased by one after that it will save that and while uh, when the save is done it will uh, publish uh, this message payload which is a json object with a key seats left uh, and the value that's coming from uh, train available seats here and uh, whatever the latest uh, number of seats available so these uh, are sent as a message payload and then we'll see that in the terminal so let's try that out so this seats left is uh, key is the one that we enter here so message dot seats left whatever the seats left we get we are stringifying it and putting it inside this pan with the id number so let's try that out So here I'm running node index.js. So now the available seats earlier it was 40, now it's 39. And if we go into the HTML, it's 39. Now let's try that again. If I'm doing it again, now it's 38. And the where this message payload is sent through PubNub. So this is the callback that we get and this is 38 so just let's try to put it on side by side so that we can see the real time action of it yeah and it just works fine so that's it